Hey everyone, welcome back to WD Decoders. Today in this video, I will show you how to setting up an Angular server side rendering in the project. Okay, without wasting a time, let's get started. You can see my screen. I have created a simple Angular project in which I have three pages: home, about, and contact. Okay, right now you can see the title is home page. When I click to about, so this is changed, and when I click to contact, this is also changed. Okay. So I will show you how I have done this. So let me open the VS Code. So you can see this is my project. So in a pages folder, I have three pages about contact and home. Okay. So when I open this one, you can see in the HTML I have put home page. So this configuration I have done in the TS file only. So for this I have import this one meta title. That's it. So in the constructor, I have put home page and description also I have put. Same I have done for the contact, okay. But this feature you will use when you will enable a SSR feature. So suppose you are creating a new application, then you need to enable it when you are creating an application like this. This is saying we need to enable it SSR. So I will put yes here. Now this will be enabled. Suppose we have existing application, then what we will do? Okay. So now you can see in this application, when I click to these pages, nothing is changed. Okay. So because I have shut up a new project in which I did not enable it. So how you can see in the package.json file, there should be an entry for SSR, right? So now we will enable SSR in existing project for this. We need to use one command. Okay. So I will open a terminal and I will paste here this command ng add at angular slash SSR. Okay. So now you can see after installation, this changed angular.json, tsconfig.app.json file, package.json. You can see in the package.json we have new entry. Okay. So now we can try and we will put something in a home page okay this is our home page i will put constructor here and i will inject meta and title now i will change the meta and title first of all we will change the title this title set home page Let's see once. Maybe this error will come. Then we need to be restart the application first. Okay. Now you can see home page title is changed. Now when I click to about, this is not changed. So let me do the same thing for the about page also. Let me copy. And for contact, also we will do the same thing. Okay, let me refresh. Now you can see home page about contact. That's it guys that I want to do. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for the latest updates. Thank you for watching.